Hello everyone. In our previous videos, we had learned about the electric charge and we had also seen about the flow of charges. Now we are ready to understand what is an electric current. So electric current is defined as the rate of flow of charge per unit time. You can also understand this as the amount of charge flowing per second through a conductor. Now to understand this, let us assume, let us take a metallic conductor and let us assume that some current is flowing through this conductor. Now if I zoom in to the particular portion of this conductor, you will find out that the charge is flowing in this cross section. So let's say that Q charge is flowing through this cross section area and the time which it takes to flow is T. So current I will be defined as Q by T for this conductor. So now if I zoom out this conductor and if I say that Q charge is flowing through this conductor in time T then the electric current which will be flowing through this conductor will be equals to Q by T. So we can say that I is equals to Q by T. Now the SI unit of electric current was named to be Ampere after the French scientist André Marie Ampere for his work in current electricity. We can define one Ampere as the one coulomb charge which is flowing through the conductor in one second. So this constitute one ampere. Now when the electric current was discovered it was assumed that it was due to the flow of positively charged particles. So the direction of electric current was kept the same as the direction of flow of positively charged particles. Now if we look at this circuit and if we say that the positively charged particles are moving from point A to point B in this conductor, then the electric current that will be flowing in this conductor will be from point A to point B. That means the direction of electric current is same as the direction of movement of positively charged particles. But later on when subatomic particles were discovered and it was found out that the current was not due to the positively charged particles but it was due to the flow of electrons and we know very well that electrons are negatively charged particles. So to keep the convention of the direction of the current to be same it was considered that the direction of electric current is opposite to the direction of flow of electrons. Now if we again look at this circuit, the electrons will be flowing from B to A. So the direction of current will be from A to B. So finally it was decided that the direction of flow of current is opposite to the direction of flow of electrons. Now let's understand electric current by an example. Let's assume that a bulb is here and it is glowing for past one minute and in that one minute 30 coulombs of charge had flown through this bulb. So you have to find out the electric current which is flowing through this bulb. Now we know that we are given 30 coulombs of charge had been flown through this bulb and it had been flown in past one minute or we can say 60 seconds. And we know very well that electric current is the amount of charge flowing through a conductor in one second or we can say charge per unit second. So we can find out easily by dividing the charge by time and we can get the value of current flowing through this bulb. So we can easily find out charge is 30 coulombs and the time which it had flown is 60 seconds. So if we divide 30 by 60, we get 0.5. So we can say that 0.5 amperes of current is flowing through this bulb. Now do you know that electric current can be very dangerous for us? Only one fifth of the total current which we had calculated in a question can be lethal for a person. Only a very small amount that is 0.1 to 0.2 amperes of current is sufficient for the death of a person. So we advise you to be safe from electric current 
as it could be very dangerous for us.